Hi all, Nick Silverstein here. I thought we would do something pretty fun today. It's an Apple PowerBook G4. You know, really nice computer. I showed it off a little bit on my channel, but I didn't really talk about it. So I thought I would install a fresh copy of Tiger on here, and that might be fun, because there's not many videos on the internet that were made after like 2012 installing Tiger on this machine. I mean, Leopard is definitely the best operating system for this kind of machine. But uh, currently I've got a gig and a half of RAM. So Tiger would run absolutely blazing fast on here. So let's roll the intro and uh... I got a Tiger disc here. I know it's a rewritable, but this is this is a copy from the original Tiger disc that I had back in the day. Um, so I thought it would be fun to install it on this machine. Um, my Tiger disc is all scratched up, which is why I, have, I always make copies of discs whenever I buy them. So I have a digital copy. So let's boot this up. Let's go hit option and we boot it up. And let's slip in the disc. I don't know, this might be a tutorial, it might not. I think it's I think it is gonna be a tutorial. Cause not many people do this on the internet these days. So just wait till the disc spins up. You can let go of option when you get to this screen. Let me zoom in a little more. So you just wait until the cursor changes from a clock to a pointer and you move your mouse and you click on the panther disc. Let's see if I can get a better angle on the screen. I hope you guys can read that. So you just choose the disc and then you hit this arrow. And then uh, now it's gonna boot up Tiger. Yeah, it's gonna be a tutorial. So, Tiger will boot on all PowerBooks. Um, most, yeah, all iBooks, all Power Mac G5s, and, uh, and, uh, Power Mac G4s. Most most G4s will boot Tiger. I think actually all G4s will boot Tiger, but not all G3s will boot Tiger. Okay, so I'm gonna choose English for my main language. You just choose the language of your choice. Uh, continue. Continue. Agree. And then, if your disk is partitioned, this is where you would select your disk. But if not, you go up to Utilities. Disk Utility. I know you can't really see that, but Utility menu is up there. And you choose your hard disk. You go to Partition. Current One Partition. And you name it. Okay, good. It just erased to make sure it's erased. You click on the partition and make sure capacity and availability are either the same or similar. And then you go to disk utility, quit disk utility. I'm sure you could find a Tiger disk on the internet if you can't buy one. Um, like I said, I don't support piracy. But, uh, 
If it's the only way you can find it, it's the only way you can find it. And then just unselect everything except for X11 and then just hit install. Sorry, I've done this like so many times and I've gotten so used to it. So when it finishes installing, your computer will, I mean your power book will automatically restart. You'll hear the bomb. You can actually eject the disk at this point. Um, Uh, tiger? Alright, so let me set up all this information. US. Alright, so I'll be back when we get to the desktop. There's a lot of information they ask you. I think it's kind of crazy how much they ask you, you know, in the old days. Let me see if I can fix the brightness. Alright, so that's it. how to install Tiger onto a power book. Alright, see if we can see the menu bar. Alright, next video will probably be how to update Tiger to the latest uh, software so that you can get not the latest but the latest a tiger can be updated to so that you can um, run um, anything built for tiger and stuff like that so you can visit the majority of web pages and stuff like that because right now Safari is pretty outdated and then later on I'll do it how to install tiger on an iBook and one of these days I'll do Head of Soul Leopard on an iBook. But I hope you guys are enjoying my five videos a week. This will probably be Wednesday's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, see ya. Peace.